Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the lives of remarkable individuals born on this special day. Today, we explore the enigmatic world of Emily Dickinson, born on December 10, 1830, in Amherst, Massachusetts. Her life and poetry, characterized by their mystery, have cemented her as an influential and unique literary figure. Amherst, a serene New England town, set the stage for Emily Dickinson's life. She lived as a recluse, seldom venturing beyond her family's home, earning her the moniker the enigmatic poet of Amherst due to her mysterious aura. Born into a prominent Amherst family, Emily's father, Edward Dickinson, a prominent lawyer, and her gentle, supportive mother, Emily Norcross Dickinson, nurtured her early interest in literature. Excellent education at Amherst Academy and exposure to poets like Shakespeare, Keats, and Burns shaped her budding talent. As Emily reached adulthood, her reclusive tendencies deepened, and she seldom left her family's home. The reason for her withdrawal is a subject of debate, with some attributing it to health issues and others viewing it as a deliberate choice to foster her creativity. In her seclusion, she found inspiration in the tranquility of her homestead, becoming a keen observer of the world outside her window, a world she often captured in her poetry. Emily Dickinson's poetry defies norms with brevity, unconventional punctuation, and profound depth. Her enigmatic verses are intricate puzzles, inviting readers to explore layers of emotion and insight with carefully chosen words. Emily's poetry touches on a wide array of themes, from the mysteries of death and immortality to the beauty of nature and the human experience. Her exploration of these themes is both intellectual and deeply personal, providing readers with a profound and often introspective perspective on life. Emily Dickinson's profound literary legacy endures, despite her limited publications during her lifetime. Her deliberate, cautious approach to publishing, often anonymously, aimed to maintain control over her art and its interpretation. The first volume of her poems was published posthumously in 1890, with subsequent collections emerging over the years. This slow reveal of her poetry to the public only added to her mystique and contributed to the ongoing fascination with her work. Emily Dickinson's poetry transcends literature, leaving an indelible mark. Her unapologetic style and exploration of complex themes have ignited innovation in poets like Robert Frost and E. Cummings, who departed from traditional forms, inspired by her. Emily's introspective, spiritual poems offer solace and deep insight, resonating with countless readers. Her influence stretches into visual arts, music, and pop culture with adaptations in songs, films, and contemporary literature. In conclusion, Emily Dickinson's life and poetry showcase the lasting impact of artistic expression. Her enigmatic and unconventional style has left an indelible mark on literature and continues to inspire, reminding us of creativity's unexpected beauty in the ordinary. Thank you for joining us as we explored the life and literary legacy of Emily Dickinson, the Belle of Amherst. Stay tuned for more captivating stories about individuals born on this extraordinary day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, 